Okay, gang. So this is brunch. It's a, it's a really, really fun recipe. And I've got my oven at 350. I'm going to go ahead and start um, this carriage house breakfast pie. This pie is pretty cool because um, it doesn't have a crust. So it's, uh, it's very substantial, but it doesn't have a crust. Um, so it's good for the gluten-free folks. However, I do have a salad coming up, also in the course, um, that's very glutinous. So if anyone has a gluten issue, so sorry. Okay. Having said that, let's go. Okay. Now, I've already made half of the recipe. Now I'm going to make the other half. This is not a vegetarian recipe. It can be made vegetarian, but um, this one has bacon in it, so it's not vegetarian. I can't eat it. Is anyone, does any, is anyone else a vegetarian besides me here? Okay, fine, then I'm gonna mosey on. Okay, so this bacon is already cooked. Um, so, but I'm still going to add it into the pan. The pan is on medium. Um, I'm going to add some bacon to the pan. Cool thing about working in a, uh, in a grocery store is that you, you always have readily available things like bacon and sausage. <coughs> and now this is uh, this is just a little bit of red pepper and green pepper and onions in a dice, and they're roughly all the same size. Um, so you don't so everything just sort of sits in your mouth correctly. You don't hit a big anything. All right, so I'm going to let that go for a few minutes until the, um, until the onions and the peppers get a little dark. Um, here I have, this is pretty cool. I hope I can find it again. This is, um, this is potato that's grated. Um, what it, actually what it is is in the refrigerator section you could grate your own potato if you if you want to but in the refrigerator section right next to right above the eggs actually there's these taters simply potatoes and they're already and they're hash browns so they're already grated so a little shortcut you get a little shortcut. And so this is, uh, this is about a cup. Like I said, I've already made half the recipe. So. so as this is going on, now, um, because of the nature of this particular um, class, there's a there's a uh, meringue at the end of it, an egg white meringue. It calls for two egg whites. So I used the egg yolk in that batch of little mini, mini quiches. Um, the next one though, I'm not gonna do that. It's just gonna be the whole, just whole eggs. These are like ultra rich. So I'm glad to see everybody made it through Easter and through the winter. And I, it's actually kind of cool out now. How many eggs do I need? Four. 
Okay, so I'm using four eggs. Did anyone have brunch over? Nobody brunches for Easter? Did you? What did you have? We usually go on Sundays every week oh. uh, to a restaurant. So you didn't cook. That's okay. <laughs> Some of my some of the best people in the world don't cook. So I have this muffin tin, smuffin tin, that I sprayed with cooking spray. And that's what I'm going to put this mixture into. And that'll be fun. If I have time, I might make a batch of biscuits since I have biscuit mix in the freezer down there from our biscuit class that we had a while back. What? For the for these things behind me? Huh I Oh for the biscuits, yeah. If we if we have time I'll make a batch. As a matter of fact I'll go ahead and Ma'am? Oh, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I'm playing it by ear. But the, but the, uh, the mix is already made up, so all I'll have to do is just dump the soured milk in there, pat it out. And I might er use a little herbs, a little honey, maybe. Is that like milk sour? Yeah, sour milk, milk, whole milk, and vinegar. Sometimes I put lemon in there too. Mmm. Yeah, so people, family, everyone had, anyone have family come in for a holiday or? Everyone. Every, all of them? That means you were cleaning a lot, weren't you, Jean? Because, I know. I pulled rank at 4 o'clock. I told mom we'd take the mom and I'd take it and get on school here. Aww. Well, that's good. That's important. That's what you're supposed to do. I don't have a choice. <laughs> Who asked me that? Oh yeah, do I like the glass top stove? Um, I, I, I don't think about it anymore. So um, if I had my preference, no. The uh, biggest reason is because I don't have a prep surface here where you guys can see me. I have to actually be prepping on the stove in order for the camera to see me. Um, that's, the, that's the biggest drawback. And also um, because um, 
because I have to do my prep on the stove, sometimes I leave plastic junk on the stove, which means I don't realize the dang thing's on, and I melt things, <laughs> and it's nasty. And this is, that's happened a few times. So I'm always having to be very conscious. Like right now, if I turned any of these on, my muffin tin would burn. So uh, everything has to be very compact and compressed in right here, which is fine. When I was, um, when I used to do a lot of personal chef work in Minnesota, um, the, one of my clients was a, was a uh, very, very busy bachelor and he was out of town all the time and he would but I'm not kidding you my I was like stove sink stove <laughs> refrigerator I mean I didn't I I didn't even have room to bring my gear in it all had to stay out in the living room the um, <laughs> so I'm used to working in kind of tight spaces Okay, so the bacon, um, now the bacon that I used was already quasi-cooked. Um, so it's still, re it's rendering out a little bit of fat to help cook the, um, the peppers and onions. That's looking okay. I like using the bacon that's pre-cooked because there's not quite so much grease that I have to take care of afterwards. Because what we really want is just kind of the smoky flavor. We don't want the fat. All the fat, anyway. So could you actually use bacon bits with that? I wouldn't use bacon bits, Monica. I would use, I would use pre-cooked bacon. Pre-cooked bacon's okay. Um, you know, if you have any leftover bacon, this is what I'm using because we do breakfast down here, and so we have a ton of leftover bacon. So that's what I use, and there's still, um, there's still just enough fat in it to help work the peppers without having to worry too terribly much about the... Nobody ever told me about the leftover bacon. I'm so sorry, Jared. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> There's still some more in the bowl if you need some. <laughs> but bacon and sausage. So, all sorts of pig products. This looks okay. So, I'm just going to move it off the heat right now. Move the bread away so it doesn't melt. Turn this off. Again, this is my conscious effort. To okay. Um, so, what this is, is... My favorite cheese from Cabot, um, Cabot Creamery. No hormones in the milk, no hormones in us. So I'm really happy with this. And this one, this actually is um, not all that expensive. Cabot, extra sharp. And I use the white cheese. You can use yellow or orange or whatever you want. You can use that too if you like. No big deal, doesn't change. But this is just the extra sharp Cabot, and you get that back over on the, you don't get it down here in the frou frou case. You get it back over there where all the other cheeses are. And so I've used a, a little over a cup. I've grated that, it's sort of the same size as the potatoes. And I'm gonna add this into the eggs. And that's nice. I'm going to add the vegetables and the, I'm going to add it to the top so it doesn't cook the egg, it's still kind of warm. Theoretically, or in, in, um, in a perfect world, you should let that cool off a little bit before you add it back into the egg so the eggs don't cook. All right. Now we get a little 
a little S and P. Not too much because there's, you know, bacon's already salty. Mmm. Okay. And I use a half inch cup measure. Preheated 350 degree oven. Ma'am? Would the muffins, the quiche freeze if you didn't use them all? Rubbery. Rubber, maybe. Rubbery comes to mind. Okay. Just because of the, you know, usually if you're doing an egg, um, if you're doing a flat egg, I think you'd be fine. But there's so much starch in the potato that I think you might have a little issue with the rubbery. Oh, heck yeah. Sure. yeah. Because of the bacon. <laughs> the bacon's got preservatives in it, so it should be fine. Okay. All right. And pop these in. Mm -hmm. 